Hi, this is Richard Dunn at Avoca. What we're going to do in this lesson is we're going to look at the money tree level. So if you haven't already, can I get you to open up the level called money tree? Now this level contains a tree, as you can see, that is shedding $100 bills and $2 coins. And over here we have a structure. What we're going to do, we're not going to go through and we're not going to make this tree like we've done in the previous lessons. This is more showing you theory and showing you some different things you can do. And we want you to come up with your own type of effect here that uses these kind of techniques. So let's go up and let's have a closer look at what this tree is doing. Basically we have just a standard tree model. In this case, some of its leaves are $100 bills. And we all ha also have some coins hanging off the branches. Now these bills and coins are part of the tree model. They're not particle effects. The ones that are falling are particle effects. So this one is completely different to this one. One's a particle, one's a mesh. The same thing goes with the coins. And as you can see, what's happening is when they hit the ground, they're freezing. So let's go and have a look at the particle editor and see how we've achieved this. So what we have here, we have two emitters. We have one for the $100 bills and we have one for the coins. So let's just disable the coin one for a minute. What we've got here is a new node that we haven't used before. And that's called mesh data. So to add that, we add it just like we've done with all the other ones. We just right click in here, type data, mesh data. Okay, and that's going to put a mesh data field in our particle. And then all we do is we have to create a static mesh or a model. In this case, a static mesh is a model of a $100 bill. It's just a plane with a texture on it. If we go into the content browser, here it is here. It's just a static mesh, two tries, four verts, with a texture on it and a material. Same thing with the coin. As you can see here, it's faceted. It's just a mesh with a coin. Now the trick with these is to keep them extremely low polygon. We don't want any more faces in them or vertices than you absolutely have to because they are expensive. So the lighter you can keep these, the better. Obviously a $100 bill is really not that expensive because it's only two polygons. And this could be used for a lot of different things. So what we're going to look at now is what some of the settings are that we're going to use in this that are unique to this type of um, uh, particle effect. The previous particle effects that we've dealt with so far in this unit have been sprite based. So they've been billboards that are constantly facing the camera that are being spawned from an emitter. The only difference here is that we are making those billboards as meshes. So you could you could make a model of uh, pine cones or confetti or anything like that and emit those from an object. Now the only other thing is when you load a mesh to be emitted from a particle effect, you are bringing in the mesh but we must also define the material that's on that mesh. And that is done in exactly the same way as we do with a normal particle effect. It's not in the mesh data field, it's in the required field. And as you can see here, just like we've done with our fire and our smoke and our rain, we put our money texture and material in here. The rest of the settings are very, very similar to everything else that we've done up to this point. We're using local space and nothing else really needs to be changed in this particular instance. Obviously our spawn amount, if we increase this, we're going to get more money. Lifetime, we've got that set to 15 and 15 in this case. Initial size is effectively here how big are our notes. It's just becoming a scalar here to change the size of our notes. Initial velocity is the same thing as it's been all along. 
how fast are they dropping at the moment of their birth or spawning. Initial location is pretty self-explanatory. It's just where is it when it's born. Keep in mind this works in relation to the location object, which we'll get to in a minute. So the initial mesh rotation is the thing that's going to control the effect of the money swirling or drifting down. And the initial mesh rotation is the same thing. What I've done here is I've emitted it from a sphere, not a single point. So this is very much like the snow blizzard that we did where we emitted it from a sphere. So if we come down here and we turn on 3D draw mode, as you can see, we're emitting it from the surface of a sphere, which would be more or less the size of the foliage of the tree. So it's representative of that. So we can turn that off. Acceleration, again, um, just changing how fast and slow the notes drift down. Same thing with initial mesh rotation rate, it's just changing the speed of the spinning. And lastly, collision. Now the only thing we've done different here to what we do with the rain is instead of setting our collision completion to kill so that when the particle effect hits the ground or any other static mesh with a collision capsule around it, these will not die, but they will freeze. So the moment it hits something with a collision shell, these will just freeze in their position that they were in when they hit the collision. That's the only thing we've, we've done differently here. And that pretty much wraps up the $100 bills. So there's a lot of things you could use this for. And we'd like to see some interesting, unique ideas coming out of this. Again, just like with all particles, just play around with the figures. There's really nothing more that you can do than just playing around in here and trying different things. If something's not working or you're trying to figure out which module it is that's playing up or causing problems, just turn it off and simply isolate one at a time if you need to and work on it, get it how it looks good, and then move on to the next one. It's very, very easy to work in here. So the next one we want to look at are the coins. And as we can see here, let me get a bit closer, the only difference here is that obviously coins are metal, they have a bit of weight to them, so they're falling straight down. So the same thing here, we've just loaded in a mesh model, we've loaded in the material, and you could try loading that to velocity, and see what that does. You're not going to see a huge amount of difference with coins. They're rigid, they're falling straight down. End of story, really. Lifetime, same as before. Initial size, velocity, it's all the same thing. The only difference here is we're spawning it from a cylinder, just like we did with the fire. And our collision as well is set to freeze movement, not kill. So really, what we've done there is we've just created the two kinds into one particle effect. So we've got our, our bills and our coins all under one particle emitter. So that is what we want to see. You come up with something unique, something interesting to push the limits of what this can do. This can pretty much be anything you want that falls from something. You could come up with something completely different. You might have something that doesn't fall but radiates out from a single point. It's really up to you. So that concludes the money tree. Thank you.